And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scout Talia as our next meme tier deck. That's right, we're going to be uh, giving Talia Scout. That's going to be the uh, goal of the deck. I think Talia needs a promotion in the field. Uh, so, you know, if we can do that, then we can attack multiple times with Talia whenever we have our attack token. And that's pretty cool because whenever we have a level up Talia, you know, has that awesome attack ability, you know, they can do, you know, six damage to the blocker. So being able to do that multiple times sounds really awesome. Now, of course, whenever we play Talia, we're going to need to uh, copy a landmark and Sandswept Tomb seems like an awesome landmark to copy, especially if you're going to be attacking multiple times. So that's going to be kind of the goal of our deck. Like, you know, round five, get play Sandswept Tomb. Round six, you know, go, you know, hopefully we have the attack token round six, but, you know, about you know about round six round seven whichever one go scout talia attack um you know get the sandstone charger also alongside of like that attack you know maybe even like some sand soldiers from emperor's dies or azir and then you know be able to attack again and get that all uh, going again that could be attacking for a whole lot of damage we also even have cataclysm where if we have a scout talia uh, on our like whenever we don't have the attack token normally we can go cataclysm get the free attack, challenge an enemy, kill an enemy, and then also rally again because it is a scout attack. So that's what the deck's all about. And that's what we're trying to set up. We have a few different like uh, landmark cards to, to make sure Talia levels up. There's even one Grand Plaza in here that can kind of do some just random cool stuff the Grand Plaza can do. We got Endless Devouts that they can block, get, our, get some Sarcophagus, and then Desert Naturalist to blow up the, the Sarcophagus. Um, and that's, that's kind of what our deck's all about. So let's let's see how it does. I think board space is going to be kind of an issue for us. We have, you know, a lot of landmarks and everything. So board space is going to be kind of rough. But I don't know. We'll just kind of see what happens. All right. We got Echo, Sivir, Vi. Unique combination. All right. We're going to send Desert Naturalist back. Do we really want Grand Plaza? In our opener maybe not i think we want to find you know our champions and all that kind of stuff we'll keep rock hopper and sharp sight's just always good to keep Go get the shiny Slip through my paws. Steady now. i was not very patient about that attack <laughs> it's a trap. okay so we trade one drops so they get a hexite crystal in their deck we get a waking sands in our hands That's not so good for us that they have an additional one. Hey, don't worry. We'll fix you right up. Watch out. Hmm. Well, this hasn't gone well so far. We can always rely on you to Just gonna save the three spell mana. Gross. Really hope they play a landmark. Cool. Because we have nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah, we've had kind of an ugly hand. It can be undone. I will run you over. That would have been a good time to draw a Talia just to, you know, have Scout Talia. Okay, so we got some landmarks. Time mm. They got all three fallen felines. And sure, I could sharp sight. It's definitely not worth a sharp sight, though. Yeah, they got lots of card draw over there. Mm. So 
So I kept sharp sights. I said sharp sights always good to keep, and that's not really looking like the case right about now. We'll blow up one of those to keep them from drawing one card. Talia. Okay, okay. So we're at three landmarks right now. So that makes it four. And then Talia copy makes it enough. So how do you? Did someone get lost in the time streams? The problem here is I can't scout Talia and also protect Talia. From, like, removal. So, I should probably wait. Because we definitely want to scout the Talia. So, we should probably... I guess we have to wait till next round to play. Which means we're not really playing anything. Which is a problem. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, Thermo is, like, the only thing they can have, right? Or just... Well, they get to do two, two damage with Hexite Crystals. Then another four. Okay. Yeah, chat says, like, we need to just do it now. We need to just... Just go ahead and do it, so... Alright, we'll go ahead and do it. Hope they can't... If I stumble, I have the earth to catch me. Killed. Hope, hopefully they don't have Thermo. Because if, if they don't have it this round, then, like, starting next round, we're gonna have lots and lots of protection for Talia. And, you know, obviously it's it's very greedy going for the scout, because we could just keep up protection instead. So it's very greedy going for the scout, but... You know, it's the name of our deck. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign, no thermo. Next round we'll have the Cataclysm to start the free attack. We get to scout attack again. We don't actually, uh, thanks to Spell Shield, we don't actually get to challenge that thing. So, of course, this challenge does let them level up Sivir. Like, that's kind of a thing, but that's how it is. We get a 4-2 out of here. Oh, no! Right in negation. Wow. Oh, that hurts. Now, okay, so we have two blockers. They challenge. Yeah, that hurts. I didn't really consider right negation. Wrap him up tight. Danger pays. Oh, that hurts That's a lot. Right. Run. Never change, Thorn. Twenty-seven. Well, it's too bad. We almost got to do our thing. Well, I mean, we did we did get to do our thing, but it was just a little slow, and they had a good, solid hand. I mean, sure, I can kill Sivir, but I'm taking lethal. I'm taking 12. We're at 10. They got to play basically everything in their hand, so that was really good for them. All right, Garen, Shivana. But yeah, if they don't have that ride negation, I think that we can stabilize. Garen, Shivana. Garen, Shivana 
does not sound like an enjoyable experience for us. That's going to go. This is going to go. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we should keep Preservarium. We, I feel like we're going to want a blocker on two, but maybe we don't need a blocker on two. This could get ugly. Garen Shivana. Okay. We definitely drew well. Alright, so no... No, no Talia, which is what I really want. But the Desert Naturalist for the Sarcophagus would not have been bad either. Okay, well, should we still just got that anyway. Shape the skies and mold the yeah, this could get ugly. This sounds like a deck that's way too good for our meme tier deck. <laughs> you know, dragons with Garen. This sounds like this is a... This looks like a tier one meta deck to me. Okay. You need not follow, but you will witness. Alright, one landmark so far. I am more than I seem. And more than culpable. Well, that seems pretty good for two mana. The drumming of hooves fills the ravine. What's the fire breath this time? Hmm? A soldier should know to stay out of the way. End them. Where will my comrades be? I think I just want the the spot. I know I could like sharp sight to try to kill the rune of dragon guard, but I think we're we're gonna need to have sharp sight to try to help kill Shivana. But I think I just I want the spot on the board. If it was important, they should have built it better. So we have room. We need the room. Could play this uh, dais as well. It is time. Oh right, Come sand soldier. That me. I wanted to avoid that. I guess that is fifteen. Do you see? Alright, so that thing's a 10 11. That seems pretty fair. Now I take to the sky. Dragons are a little too strong. Yeah, this Dragon Guard is is filthy. Um, yeah, it's, it's that plus Shivana, those two together. Would be pretty ridiculous. We fight for those who cannot.
Unfortunately, they just get free fight spells. But at least the Garen doesn't strike, I suppose. If we draw exactly Talia and Field Promotion... Whoa, they're just going to let their Garen die? Cool. All that. From the Talia and field promotion. Mm. No Talia's for us. Dragons are really good, man. They are really, really good. Especially this one. It's kind of crazy how much the dragons have been buffed just over time. You know, like they buffed up Eclipse Dragon from what it normally was. They buffed uh, Shivana by giving it Fury from what it normally was. Obviously, this Herald of Dragons was buffed. The uh, you know, Ruined Dragon Guard they played earlier was buffed. Almost every Dragon card has been buffed. So I think my best chance of winning this <clears throat> is to go ahead and challenge the Eclipse Dragon right now. And then we can open attack with this Restored Devout. You know, we got we got these other things attacking alongside with them. While making their life a little difficult. So they don't like taking any damage. Come on, Talia. Talia. Oh, the field promotion card. Seems about right. I'm gonna attack for 20 next round. Hmm. It's too big. It's just too big. This card costs two mana, by the way. <laughs> it costs two mana. And it also created all those fight spells, so I got to kill everything for free also. But yeah, for two mana you get to stay on the board the whole game and just get... Just keep growing and just get absolutely huge and create a whole bunch of free spells. Two mana. Talia! Alright, no Talia, we will skip. This 
a good little opener. I could see getting rid of the treasure seeker. Like, maybe I should have just sent that one back. Getting those things to one health does mean that if either of those challenge the Azir, they will die. Accept your destiny, That's a curve. Shiba. You really don't know me. That's a pretty good curve. Come, we have an empire to build. Business as usual. Yeah, I kind of think that's just what, like my only play. Can try to kill Shivana. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. And I guess I played this too. I think I said Shivana. I meant Sivir. Sorry, my bad. Better dead than topside. Never had luck. Never needed it. Easy to say with that Z drive of yours. No. I was trying to think if I should use the field promotion or not. Really hope they don't have Mystic Shot. Really hope this works. If they have Mystic Shot, we are in trouble. Please let it happen. Ugh. That's too bad. At least they don't get that time trick, I suppose. Oh, man. Oh, man. Our deck really needs Talia. We only had that one Talia that showed up really late in round in game number one and it hasn't showed up at all in game number two or three. We really, really need Talia. Turn it like so. Stands beneath me and wins behind me. So they're creating that parallel convergence in their deck before they predict. You should always cast the time trick first, because you're just putting that back on top of the deck. Okay. Wanna make me a few extra boards? Yes! So then if it's a card that you like, now you don't even get to do the, the time trick. Yeah, they did that in the wrong order for sure. No, we have we have to make that block on on the echo like I did. Like we, we have to. It's just they had you know they had the absolver and stuff. That I I have no regrets about that. They're, that's a block you have to make. We really need Talia. We are reliant on Talia. So, I think I need a mulligan more looking for it than what I have. Man, I want to keep that field promotion, but... Okay, we have it this time. And we have field promotion for it. Uh, we also have an Emperor's Dies to copy. Shoot the wings off a 
We maybe just don't have enough units in the deck. It's it's a difficult deck to build. These opponents can kind of chill though, right? Like they keep on having really, really good hands. Like our opponents are not helping us out at all. These hands are ridiculous. Best one drop, two drop combo. All right, Preservarium, help us out, help us out. Okay, Rockhopper, good. Rockhopper, good. Because we need we need these landmarks, so Rockhopper, good. I love that we have the second Talia also, so that the first Talia dies, we got the backup. This has kind of been the problem, like, them not playing anything. I guess I, I don't actually get the... This is actually a problem here, isn't it? Because we're not going to get the landmark, are we? I had to block and kill this 2-2. I didn't really consider them never playing anything. And this landmark getting in the way. Yeah, I, that was my bad. I didn't, I didn't block. I had to block. Yeah, it wouldn't let us level Talia, and we have to have Talia level because I can't just have Talia die to. Um, I will weave my own path. You know the deal five card. My journey won't end Harpoon. Until I'm through weaving it. They can still have Mega Rain Harpoon, but at least they have to have that. Okay. We need to refill our hand a little bit. The Absolver. That could be good. I'm not gonna use the Absolver right now. I'm gonna wait till like next round for the Absolver where I can have like normal attack and Absolver and Cataclysm, like, you know, like all that together. I think, right? Or. Because if I use it right now. I guess we do. I guess they're at 15. I guess we do represent lethal. Alright, sure. Let's go for it. Let's go for a win. Yes, they may have some monster harpoons, and yes, it may backfire, but let's go for a win. Yes, we got a win! Because then we still have the attack token, we get to attack again, we can challenge the T2. We should do this more often. Okay, we got a win. And we're playing against another landmark deck. Maybe our naturalist will come into play, but let's... Send these back. We'll keep one Preservarium to help find Talia. Yeah, when it works, it works. When it works, it works. Okay, got a field promotion. Absolutely is. Talia, where you at? All paths lead me here. Yeah, 
Yeah, we have... Wow. We really don't have very many units, but man, these these draws these last few games, like... Or some of these games, man, there are, like, no units here. Crazy small amount of units. That's something I guess I guess that's what would need to change with the deck. Oh, this girl is heavy. I think this would probably work out a lot better as action. Because that's a, the thing about Azir is Azir doesn't really attack or block. And so I think that we'd probably need like action. Because then action gets us like the extra cards and finds the stuff, and action works great with scout, all that kind of stuff. We probably need to change. Moving forward instead of Azir. I can make Scout his ear. You need not follow, but you will witness. So at least they're a waste of mana. That's good. They obviously really want this card to die, which is why I didn't want to attack in and, and just allow it to die. Come on, Talia. Talia. All right. Looks like we're gonna have field promotion, endless devout, I suppose. Not the best. Not the best. I've never tried this chemical before. That's how it is. The order is given. I mean, that doesn't do anything. Clears up room for them if they're just if they were chilling with Desert Naturalist, they're probably pretty happy right now. Alright. The benefit of Total Yeah, this is like Rosa, this looks like a Yasuo deck. Like you, you don't draw a Yasuo, you, you lose, and that's kinda of like us. Like we don't draw a Talia, we lose, for sure. Like this is completely built around Talia. And so that's why making it, like, action, Talia, where action can win games for you also. Like, Azir is not going to win any games. By itself. So that would probably be the better idea. The better way to go. So it could be playing the... Yeah, it looks like they're playing the 8-mana card this round. Yeah. No lifesteal, please. Okay. Why not? Um, where are you at? You're at 11. So, what do we have? Okay, so Spell Shield, Regen, Tough Fury. Yeah, so they, they really uh, shorten this down a lot more, which makes sense. I don't know why the impact is afterwards, but... Okay, so let's go with... Basically, do, I'm thinking, do I want to play this Waking Sands? Kind of do. Let's just do this. We got a lot of cataclysm. Get rid of a blocker. It is time. Let's level up his ear. Okay, impact is shown separately because it's a certain number, so it could be, you know, impact two, three, four, whatever, so that's shown as separately. Gotcha. We down to two. I think we can go down to two. Because we're planning on killing them this round. And I think we will. 
Uh, so we're gonna play this and Cataclysm. Oh, the stun. Eh, that's fine. All right, so now we go Cataclysm here. Yeah, that's fine. Get another attack in. Alright, I think we should kill him. Thankfully, they didn't get lifesteal. Now we... Attack with everything. For reals. This time. We almost even killed their... The arsenal. Alright, GG's. I guess whenever you get to attack like four times in a round with his ear, maybe maybe I shouldn't have, you know talk bad about his ear. <laughs> it helped out that they kind of passed a few rounds and didn't really do anything. Um, I don't know exactly what the you know we don't know what was in their hand or anything like that, but that helped that we just got to got to set up and it turned out that Scout Endless Devout <laughs> actually did pretty good. You know we got the two attacks with the Endless Devout the round that we played it with the Scout and then also the next round with the Triple Cataclysm. You know getting the challenging, you know ch getting rid of some blockers. And then Azir and Emperor's Dias Sand Soldiers. So there could be something here with Scout Talia. We saw that we really needed this card. You know, we we had, you know we still went two and three, so that wasn't the worst. But I think that maybe having action, which again you get the Warlord's Palace, another great landmark, and then you know Vagabond. Maybe, like, that's kind of the way to go with this style of deck. But it was still, a fun, yeah, it was still a fun deck. And, uh, you know, still got got to do some cool stuff. So that's always important. <laughs> Chess says it's budget Aurelia Azir. Basically, <laughs> look at Azir winning the game. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and let us know what you think of the Scout Talia deck, if you got any other ideas for it. Or, you know, maybe this gives you some, some different ideas of stuff to build, like Auction, you know, Talia or anything like that. You know, it's always good to have, uh, to get those ideas and see new stuff. Hopefully y'all enjoy the deck. Let me know over in the comment section. But that's gonna be it here for Scout Talia. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.